Hello, this is the TradeSet U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market, S&P 500 and futures form. Had a little update today, a little gap up and closed a little bit higher. Uh, new closing high, and it gets us a 13 sell signal. It's a secret 13 sell signal on the ES. That's what we were waiting for. We've been discussing that for the last few days. So we'll see how that plays out. Let's go through the major indices, then we'll look at the intraday action, and we'll talk about what to do tomorrow. Crude oil closes back above 49, up 25 cents. Gold up $2.30, which is basically a blip. S&P cash up 11.42. Remember, the cash index already had the 13 sell signal. Uh, there was a gap, so part of that 11 points was a gap. NDX up 17, new closing highs on the NASDAQ. SOX up 15. Biotech's up 14. Uh, which is not a new closing high. The VIX up two cents to 10.42. That remains the big problem, although we had a great day today. Five out of six trades that triggered with market support worked. So it was a very exciting session from that perspective. Real good trading session for stocks and futures. Uh, here's a look at the trend. Uh, well, a fire alarm, isn't that special? Let me go through this quickly. Uh, trend at 0.83. That puts the 10-day moving average at 0.95. NASDAQ volume 1.6 billion shares. Uh, which is uh, which is light as usual. We've been seeing a lot of that. Nasdaq volume 900 and uh, I'm sorry, advanced decline ratio plus 983 on the Nasdaq, plus 1489 on the New York. Uh, I'll skip the individual stocks with whatever this noise is. But Tesla was down eight. Google was up four. Goldman Sachs back up two. Stuff like that. So uh, still holding. By the way, here's that Goldman with that 13 buy signal still holding the risk line there. Let's take a quick look at the intraday action. We'll go to five minute charts. This is 15. That's not what we want. We'll do the five-minute chart of the ES. Gapped up and pushed up by uh, for the first 30 minutes. That's where we closed. So the rest of the day was pretty flat, even though we had some real nice winners. If you go look at the recap for the session, it was awful nice. Um, and uh, that's about it. Here's the NASDAQ. Did about the same. Didn't have the gap. Tomorrow, we've got housing starts and building permits an hour before the bell and capacity utilization and industrial production 15 minutes before the market. We'll just see what the market gives us. I'm going to just cut this short tonight with this noise that's going on. Have a great trading day.